and forgiveness. Forgive him. If you want Allah to forgive you, and it also forgive others as well. Um, another thing that you mentioned, for example, kinship. It's a major sin in Islam to stop kinship. So for her to stop you from seeing your son, it's, it's a major sin in Islam for us. Yeah. But you seem like a good man. You seem like a sincere man. I sincere. sincere. I wouldn't say good, but sincere. Well, we're, we're all, I, we all are sinners. Yes, that's it. for sure. For but sure. the difference in Islam is the following. <laughs> God doesn't want you to be sinless. God wants you to acknowledge that you have a Lord that's forgiving and merciful. If you were sinless, you would never require the you would never require turning to God for forgiveness. Yeah. You'll become arrogant. You work on you walk on the earth boastful. Mm. That's why there is a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. He said, if mankind was not to sin, God Almighty would destroy all of them and bring forth another nation that sins but repents. The point is what? Does God want you to sin? No, but the point is He knows that you will sin and He just wants you to acknowledge that you have a Lord to turn to for forgiveness mm. no matter how much you sin and we don't believe in blood sacrifice we don't believe that an innocent man or any person will bear the sin of somebody else we believe that the only way you can ask and your sins to be forgiven not only forgiven but Islam has this concept that if you are persistently doing a specific sin if you truly repent, those sins will be turned into good deeds. So Islam, yeah. So it's slightly different from from yes. scripture, right? Where where it says that without blood there is no forgiveness. Exactly. And and um, and he has made a way for us to be forgiven because yes. because it has to be by him by his sacrifice as opposed to our own. Why? Because it has to be by grace. Because I've fallen short and haven't kept the law. Is that grace? Then it has to be by grace. Well. If, if I was to keep the law, then it wouldn't be grace because I'd be earning my salvation. So, so if I'm er keeping the law to earn my salvation, then it can't be by grace. The Bible says that salvation is by grace, so it can't be by works. If it was by works, then it wouldn't be by grace. So they're mutually exclusive in Scripture. And so I can understand that because I've done nothing but sin my whole life. I've been angry, I've Same. struggled from depression, Same. I've been violent. I've so I need forgiveness, but I can't possibly just be perfect now so, because I still sin. But there's sin that leads to death and there's sin that does not lead to death. And I believe that I've turned away from the big sins and continually try and work out the smaller sins. Okay. And even if I did sin majorly, I, I still have an advocate to turn to to be forgiven. So it has to be by grace, of according course. to scripture. Yes, but we, and we as Muslims, we do the works. Like I think it's in the book of James that says, faith with no works is dead. Yeah, yeah. So you do need the works, but we do the works of praying, fasting, uh, giving in charity, going in pilgrimage, staying away from major sin. We do all of these things because God deserves it. We don't do it just to attain paradise. We only attain paradise by the grace and mercy of God, not so by our good deeds. Our good deeds is not what will enter us into paradise. Yeah. It's ultimately God's mercy. Mm -hmm. So we have the same concept. But the thing is that you believe that believing that someone died for your sins is grace. We say firstly, this concept of blood sacrifice, do you believe Jesus is God? I believe that he is deity, yes. Okay. I believe so, that he's got the son as opposed to okay, a created but, being. But is he is he co equal to the father? I believe that he is according to scripture. Okay. How do you justify that? So so effectively what I mean this this you have to know the Bible in context. It took me quite a long time to take to, to read the scripture and to, to understand it in context. So First of all, in Matthew, we're told to be baptised into the name of God, and that's the Father, Son and Spirit, and that's singular. It doesn't say into the name of the Father, into the name of the Son. What does the word say? Does it say God? Uh, well, in, in Paul, in the New Testament, he said we're not baptised into my name, you know, we're not baptised into anyone else's name, but God's name. So, so I know that... So when, so when it says God's name, does it mention the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Or does it say God's name? So, so it refers to God as the Father, it refers to God as the Spirit, okay, it refers to God Does the text mention that, or does the text say God? So in that particular one, in Matthew, it says Father, Son, Spirit, and in the other one, it just says God. So okay. he's referred to in different contexts. Yes. Um, but really, what, what it was, uh, I mean, Philippians 2.6, for instance, um, is quite, uh, 
was quite a big scripture for me to believe. Colossians 1.16, obviously John 1, yeah. um, uh, Revelations 1.17 where he says, I died, I'm the first and the last. Yeah. So the fullness of deity dwells in him bodily. He made all things and, you know, and without him was nothing made. Okay. Um, and so these are the scriptures. It's probably best that I don't paraphrase and no, just get the scriptures out fine. when we talk about them. That's fine. But, okay, you can. Um, the thing is here... But that's why... There's some attributes that God has. Mm. Yeah? Do you acknowledge that there is nothing like God? Sure. God is the only one who creates. God is holy. God's the only one that's good. Okay. All of us. So when we say there is nothing like Him, how can we then believe that He embodied Himself as a human? If we say there's nothing like Him. Um, so from my perspective, uh, in Genesis uh, 3 8, we get an example of God walking in the garden. Um, and looking for Adam. So, so God is all-knowing, all-powerful, yeah. uh, ever-present. So, so when he says, where are you, Adam? He already knew where he was. Yes. Um, and so, so when this, you know, the son says he's the first and last, and it, 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 the fullness of deity dwells in him bodily, when Thomas says in John 20, 28, hokurios mu kai of theos mu, you know, he's saying in yeah. no um, uncertain terms that yeah. he is his Lord and God, and yes. so, so Father, Son, and Spirit yeah. throughout Scripture. Well, let's put let's put the Quran and the Bible to a side. Sure. Let's just use our use our some rational rationality and logic. When we're talking about a Creator, can we acknowledge a few things that He's the most powerful? Sure. He's the all-knowing. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. There is nothing like Him. Yeah. He does not beget, nor is He begotten. Mm -hmm. Can an all-powerful being lose that power or restrict his power? Well, he said, it's, the scripture says that he gave up his divine privileges I'm not, and made the, himself nothing. But the problem is you're getting the, the definition of God from scripture. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not you said you're putting it aside, no, no, but I'm how saying, do you know? No, no, I'm saying let's put the Quran and the Bible to a side. Sure, but how do you know God's attributes Cause, cause without we, be, we believe, no, no, attributes is different, yeah? Okay. okay. So, for example, we acknowledge certain things that we know about God. That like He's the most powerful. He has to be the most powerful. Even if you go to an atheist and prove to him that God exists, you would have to accept that He's a powerful because we can see it. Sure. Yeah, so, you need to accept a few things. Yeah. So, when we put these two aside, we need to acknowledge and accept that God is the most powerful. Can there be a moment of time that He becomes weak? Do you think it's possible for Him to enter His creation? Do you think it's possible no. for the, the eternal God to, to walk in the garden and no. look? No. So on what basis do you make that assertion? Because I, again, look at his power. I look at who he is. And I say, because of who he is, for him to enter his creation, yeah? Okay. To enter his creation, it, it's not plausible. You get what I'm trying to say? It's not plausible. Because he is the most powerful. For him to communicate and hear, hear our prayers, he doesn't need to enter the creation. No. You get what I'm trying to say? No. So what I'm saying is, if he's the most powerful, could there be at one moment of time that he becomes weak? Um, I believe that he can... That no, first of all, nothing is too difficult for the Lord. So I believe he can't lie and he can't... So, there's so, so there is... He can't so, do. so, okay, good. So there are certain things he there, can't do. Certain, he can't lie, can he? And he can't... Good. He, can't, he, cannot, he cannot cease to exist. He can't cease to exist. Okay. He's eternal. So, so these, also, this is one of the things. He cannot lose. He cannot become weak. But the problem is that because I believe scripture, I have to get my definitions from scripture. If the scripture says he cannot enter his creation, what if then the scripture says, What if the scripture said he can become a rabbit? Would you believe that? Uh, if it said he could become a rabbit? Yes, would you believe it, that? If it, gives, if it gives me hundreds and hundreds of prophecy that yeah. I can verify so I can distinguish that it's yeah. God's word, yeah. then I would believe it even okay. though it's what, different. What if it's but not God's word? The problem is here that we have, we know this is, Carb the Dead Sea Scrolls are carbon dated to pre-exist Christ by 600 years. Which ones? There were some that were fraudulent. Sure, we have three and a half million papyruses from our limited understanding yeah, yeah. and we know that we can verify the old scriptures to the ones we have today and um, so we know that, for instance, the book of Isaiah, certain parts were in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes. Right? So, so I believe that if it was, if we can prove it was written before time, then it does something that no man could possibly do. It writes things in specific and intricate detail before they happen, and it does it hundreds of years before, okay. before the events it describes. Okay. That is, no man could do that over a 1600 year period. As far as I know? 
the Bible has not been preserved. Mm. That's, 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 uh, even Christians admit that. Yeah? Not that. Yeah, there, there was a couple of jots of titles that are missing. No, no, no. no, no. There's, there's... No, no, no. no. There's, 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 there's books missing. How many books do you have in there? So there's 66. Exactly. What about the others? 76, 73, 82. Apocrypha? Or... No, no. There's different books of different denominations. Yeah, so from my perspective... Is their Bible the actual Bible or is your one the actual Bible? So the way I have... Because I haven't done much study into that area, yeah. um, because... But this is this should, this should, this should put a big question mark on you, yeah. on, 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 on the scripture. The Qur'an, we have one Qur'an. We don't have... The Shias have a different Qur'an. This other group, we have one Qur'an. And this Qur'an has been preserved. And when I mean preserved, I'm talking about preserved. To, to the letter, to the way you pronounce it, to the mouth movements that you make. Literally. Preserved to the T. Well, we haven't got the originals, is that correct? Yes, we did. D didn't, the didn't, were they, I haven't done much studies, yeah, but yeah. were they not burned by, by a No, no, no. No, no, no. This man burnt them to... Um, what's the word? He burnt it to standard, standard, standardize it. Standardize it, yeah? Okay. Because there were different people pronouncing it in a uh, new reverse Islam that were pronouncing it in a different way. And the way it was done was by the companions who learnt it from the Prophet coming together. You don't have the, that with the Bible. With the Bible, you are talking about individuals who never met Jesus, who are claiming something. So we have no, we have no information about Mark, Matthew, Luke, John. We, have, we don't know nothing about them. There were references to people still being alive who saw Jesus, right? When, when There's he... reference to them people by people that were not. So we cannot rely on that. But so, the only reason I believe this, and it took a lot for me to believe yeah. scripture, I was an agnostic for most of my life. Yeah. If you know when it was written, how do you account for it describing the dimensions of the universe? In the beginning, God created, what, what expand, dimensions? But if you look at Genesis, well, the state actually, of the universe, right? So, finite beginning and expanding universe, laws of physics that don't change, and the law of entropy. That's that like, like accurately what? describes. In the book of Genesis, there's the first contradiction. For example, what did God create first? Go, go to Genesis. Yeah, but so, so, in the Quran as well, so, so, so I'm, not, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but. Um, but the point is here that it does something that no man can do. No, no, no. Writes things I, 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 in specific I, 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 detail. I promise you. I promise you. I, I promise. Oh, it's still, it's still working. No, 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 no. no. I, I, I promise you. If, if you're genuinely seeking, look, the Quran. Yeah, there, are, there are many errors in there in the, in the Bible, which I can show you. Not only that, the thing is that there's also verses that have been taken out. There are books that have been taken out. This is a, this. This should be a big book. I'm not trying to take faith away from you. I'm trying to redirect it to a true, true part. Oh, I only want to put my faith in what's yeah. true. I, I exactly, question exactly. everything. That's good, that's good. I, that's I, good. So I see sincerity in you. Have you ever read the Quran? I have only done the kind of uh, debate stuff. I've looked at some. I haven't read it page to page. Okay. So uh, how, I was okay, hoping to actually get one of you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, so yeah. what Quran, Torah, and Bible all in there. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. So, so what, 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 what was it? From Sayyidina Ibrahim to Sayyidina Muhammad. It's all brought here. Thank you very much. Okay. So, is it, yeah. um, so what, I, what, I'm say, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is sure. that if you read the Quran, yes, because you haven't given the Quran a chance, yeah? The only reason I haven't read it and the only reason I believe the Bible is because of the prophetic writings. I was amazed I can, by, I can, by the I, prophetic writings in the scripture. What, How, what, what, what Ezekiel 26 to 29. What's the prophecy? I can give you... Okay, so, so first yeah. of all, yeah. in the beginning, do we have any yes. evidence in science that there's a beginning? We, have, we can look through the Hubble telescope yeah. to see the beginning of the universe. We have the cosmic background radiation, loads of evidence yeah. that the universe is finite, the universe is expanding, you know, laws of physics well, do well, not well, change. They, 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 they're questioning the whole Big Bang now. I'm not questioning no, it because not. I can see the beginning of the universe. No, no, but you can. But science, scientists are now questioning the whole Big Bang sure. theory. There was a steady state theory in the 60s, yeah, and yeah. people go back. But there's flat earthers, so I can't. Uh, yeah, take exactly. Everyone's, exactly. Uh, what I'm trying to say is this: yeah, if you are truly moved by prophecies, mm. there are undeniable prophecies in the Quran. Undeniable. Like, let me tell you something. Yeah, the first thing that I wanted to establish, which I was talking about, is God's power. Because mm. I want to start off with that. Okay. I was going to take this off, but I got his magic. It's a bit warm today. It is, it is. So the thing is here, can God lose his power? No, he can't. Can God become ignorant? No, he can't. So when Jesus was crucified on the cross, how does an all-powerful being become weak on the cross? 
Well, I believe that he gave up his divine privileges, uh, uh, privileges and made himself nothing. So if I believe scripture, then, how, then how? it tells me that it's... But, but, but you know what you're doing? You're going against your own natural disposition, which is God cannot be weak. I'm, I'm going with yes. scripture because it's yes. proven itself no, to be God's word. No, no, no. I, I, can, I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can prove, he can say that, but I work with truths. I don't work with emotions. Sure. Like, it's like, it's like somebody comes and saying to me, whatever he says, if somebody comes and disputes the Quran and somebody says, even if he's right, disbelief. No. What an, what, what an insecure truth, person I will be. be truth seekers, if there is to. mistakes in the Quran, bring it, I'll become a Christian today. I'll become a Christian right now. If, if, if anyone can prove to me this Quran is not from God, I will leave Islam now. Anybody. So, so, Anybody. So the point so is this. So the point is this. Yeah. If I can prove the Bible is not the word of God, yeah. would you still believe in it? I'm definitely not. But, okay, because you, you know why? Take the prophecy away. You know what's the difference between you and this man? You're sincere. Because you are saying, if it's not the word of God, I, I won't accept yeah, it. Not, and the same not. goes with me. I, I, Thank you. So I now what I'm saying is this. John 7, 5, 3 to Mark 8, 11. John okay. 5. John 7, 5, 3. John 7, 5, 3. Mark 8, Mark 8, 11. So open John 7, 5, 3, please. This is King James, yeah? Uh, it's a New American. It's New American. American. Okay, open it. So Jesus John, said, John 5. Jesus said, seek the truth and the truth shall set you free. John 7, 5. John 7, 5, 3. But you would, you would have to, in order for me to not believe, you would have to you'd have to tell me that it wasn't written when it was written yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. deny all the prophecy about it. John so 7, 53. Do you mind if I just... Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a small just looking for the footnote. Okay, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you read from here? Sure. You know it says uh, 50, no, do that, 53. 53? Yeah, what does it say then? Uh, Latimer said the story of the adulterous woman numbering it as John 75, 3, 8 to 11. Oh, later message added, sorry, yeah, to the story of the adulterous woman. So it's, uh, okay. so we know that it was added at So, so let's, let's, let's stop for a second. Sure. And I want to make something clear before we carry on. I'm not here to win an argument. I'm not here to have one over you. I'm not here to show off. I'm not here to be like, I, I win and you lose. Or I'm here to have a genuine discussion. You can be wrong and win and be a debate, can't you? True, so, so. exactly. So what I'm saying is, I am here for truth. I want the best for you as much as you want. You want me to go hell? No, definitely not. I don't want definitely you to go hell. No one. We're both no on the same page, yeah? Planet. Okay, good. So I want to be, we're both on the same page. We're both looking for truth. Yes. We're hopefully sincere. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, now, John 7, 5, 3 to Mark 8, 11, yeah? Mm -hmm. If it says that passage where it says, those of you of no sin cast the first stone, sure. has been added in, meaning that they have checked the old scriptures that you have, mm. those, that story has been added in, meaning somebody has come and made that story up. So, so from our perspective, it could have been true, but, it, but we know that it was added later stage. So that, that gives me a greater degree of knowledge about what the scriptures actually were and whether the later editions affect the, the scriptures' teachings. Not, okay. I don't believe that. I want to ask you a question. God's word, hmm. can it be corrupted? Can it be altered? No, I believe that it's infallible, inherent, authoritative. I don't believe that every translation, because you can change. I'm not talking about word. translation. Okay. We have translation. So, so the original, translation. I believe, is inherent, infallible. Good. Authority. Okay. The original ones that you claim to have, mm. you are being told that these, and by the way, I have uh, maybe 15 examples of verses added in. Let alone the books. You have 66 books, yeah? Mark, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know 66 books. You know there are 76, there are 82, there are 86 books. When I'm talking about books, I'm talking books. You go to those denominations, they will say, this is the Bible. You will come and say, no, this is the Bible. We as Muslims, we have one Quran. Mm -hmm. There is no different, different on the Quran. No, there's one, 26 Quran. They wish. 
He would they sacrifice his life. He would sacrifice his life for that. that. It's, it's, a that. It's, a it's, a it's a dream. No, it's a dream. 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 So, so, so that's the reason why you see one, two, three. Yeah. Do you know why they've come? Let me tell you why they've come. Because they know when I'm speaking, as I'm talking and saying something, no, he's lying. Amen. Do you see that? Fact checking. They're just fact checking. So, so, so what I'm saying is, they, 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 know, they, they know, they know, they know, they know. The, the more I talk and the more I convince you, what they, let me tell you what they're going to do next. Soon, you know what they're going to do soon? I wouldn't let anyone try. No, no, no. You know what they're going to do soon? They're going to start speaking louder and louder and louder. Amen. You're going to see it, yeah? Amen. So, now I'm asking a simple question. So, how is it that God Almighty is allowed, or men, mankind have come and added stories? Now, if I give you a cup of water and I say to you, drink this, and I go, wait, well, hold on a second. Let me add one drop of poison and I shake it and I go, drink it now. Would you drink it? Probably not. Why not? Probably not. Why not? Uh, I want to uh, see my children at the moment. You don't want to die? <laughs> I don't want to die. You care about your body? I do. Rightly so. What's more important, your body or your soul? My soul. Good. Then how could you consume something for your soul which has been changed? Has been altered, which I'll show you. I'm just this my. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean in a disrespectful way, by the way. I'm just, I'm just my claim. It's my claim. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you are now consuming something for your soul, which, if there has been words added in and taken out, books have been added in and taken out, and there are numerical and contradictions in the Bible, how is it then you can now put your whole faith into something? That is going to affect your Do you soul. know what gives me confidence? Yes. Is that, that, that we know that it's been added. That we can verify what was written at what time. What if I said to you this? What, sorry, your name is Nick. 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 Nick, what if I said to you, I have the Quran, and this Quran, it was changed. Some people added, they came and they wrote stuff, yeah? And I said to you, I believe in God. Let me tell you something. The Christians, the Christians will be celebrating. They'll make a party here. Why is it that this is because... Do, do you believe this from Satan, yeah? Okay, good. Check this out. Check this out. This is from Satan, but Satan done a better job than you could. Check this out. Check this out. Satan... Sent, check this out. Check this out, guys. Satan... Check this out. Satan sends a book, and in this book, for some reason, Satan curses himself. He says the curse Satan, yeah. and he says, oh, and he no, says, no, no. one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, relax, 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 relax. Nick, 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 it's from the heretical uh, Christians, yes. Okay, so 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 one second. Is there things being taken from the Bible? There's some claims. Okay. But I'm so, not, I'm, I'm okay, okay. So some of the claims are the following. Yeah. This has been copied from the Bible. Some stuff. Yeah. Check this no, out. Not from the real Bible, from the her heretics. Check this out. In the Bible, and this is one of my miracles. I'm going to show you that this is from God. In the Bible, it talks about the story of Moses, and it talks, it talks about the story of Joseph. Yeah. The Quran also has the same story. But check the difference out. In the Bible, when it talks about the ruler of Moses, it refers to him as a pharaoh. You're going to say, oh my God, Allah, you're going to start praying now. It says what? It says Moses, the ruler at the time of Moses was what? Pharaoh. At the time of Joseph, your scripture says the ruler was also a pharaoh. Right? Now, but something that's very strange about the Quran now. When it talks about the story of Moses, it refers to the ruler as a pharaoh. But when it starts to talk about the ruler of Joseph, it says king. Now, this is very interesting because if it copied from the Bible, for some odd reason, the Quran decides to call the ruler at the time of Joseph a king instead of pharaoh like the Bible. Now, why is this important? You say, Ali, okay, what's the big deal? When archaeologists, when they when they discovered, you know the hieroglyphics? You know hieroglyphics were a dead language? Sure. Okay, I don't know if you knew this. It was a dead language. Yeah. They discovered the Rosetta Stone. When they discovered the Rosetta Stone, they realized, they looked into history, yeah? They realized that there was no such rulers as pharaohs at the time of Joseph. So well, hold on a second now. How is it that there's two points here? Number one, this shows that the Quran never ever copied from the Bible, number one, because if it did, it would have copied that mistake. And number two, how is it that at the time of Joseph, there were no pharaohs, but the Bible calls them pharaohs, but the Quran calls them king? 
This is a historical miracle. How did the Quran know? I'll, I'll have to research that. No, nothing okay, about please it. do, please do. So, so please the basis, do. I believe, this is on yeah. prophecy. We know when it was written. But that's a false prophecy. It, <laughs> look, it describes it's the state of the universe. It has 300 messianic prophecies about where Jesus would be born, what he would do, that his bones won't be broken, that he would die for the sin of the world. These, these, and how can they be it has prophecy? Ezekiel 26 to 29, which prophesies the destruction of Tyre. Then okay. it has the destruction of Jerusalem. But these are circular, arg but these are circular no, arguments. The evidence I'm giving you is outside. Hear me out. No man can do. But Nick, That's why I believe Nick, that. Sure. for you to say that, you're giving me circular arguments. It's like the Quran saying, in the beginning, there will come a prophet called Prophet Muhammad. And I go, look, so, so, in the other part of the Quran, it says Prophet Muhammad came. So That's a circular argument. Sure, sure, it's not a circular you, argument because I'm going outside. So science proves God's... Uh, no, he talks about Jesus is being broken and him coming and testing. That's what you sure, said. Sure, sure. But we can verify these claims through extra biblical sources. So we know, for instance, that Josephus and Tatticus all verified the crucifixion of, of, of Christ. But, but when, so when, we when, have extra biblical sources that affirm what the Bible says. There are Science yes. is something outside the Bible. I'm, I'm talking about... Firms, I'm talking about outside. Let's not. Let's talk about outside. Okay. Are you being too reasonable? What? 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 What, what, no, what, what, let, what I'm we saying is. So so so. You what? What? To go what, with what his what no no no. We're going with logical reasoning that you don't have. Yeah. So the thing is here, Nick. Very simple. Yeah. I'm asking a question. How did the Quran know that? Oh, forget about that. So, so what was the oh, forget about that. No, no, no. Forget about that. What was the prophecy? What was the prophecy? Was the prophecy? You, Nick, you're not listening. No, I didn't okay, hear it. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. I'll repeat again. Yeah. The Quran, yes, yeah. it says, at the time of Joseph, the, the Quran, the author of the Quran, refers to the ruler as a king. King, king. And at the time of Moses, it refers to the ruler as a pharaoh. It distinguishes. Do you understand? When Moses came and when Joseph, there's a big time frame. God Almighty refers to the ruler at the time of Joseph as a king. At the time of Moses, as a pharaoh. The Bible refers to both as pharaohs, which is a historical mistake. And I'm asking a question. How does the Quran know this historical fact? Wasn't the Quran written 600 years yes. after, after the scriptures? Right? Yes. After the death yes. of so Christ. Yes, so this was like... written 600 years yes. after. Yes, and this was thousands of years uh, later than Moses and uh, Joseph. Okay. So how did it know this fact? So, so I've just given you 300 messianic prophecies. No, a, you didn't, you didn't a description you. of the dimensions of the uni universe. No, 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 Ezekiel you, you, 26. You, you, destruction you, you, of Jerusalem. You, you, you didn't give me anything yet. So uh, that's... Give me, no, this is... Ellie, okay, this give me, is why give me, give I believe this with all my life. Okay, okay, okay. So every part of my life. So Nick, Nick, can you give me... Nick, can you, give me, can you give me one prophecy? Isaiah, Isaiah. Isaiah. Oh, sure, Let's go for it. sure. So in the beginning, God created. That's a prophecy. And by the way, by the way, you still didn't answer my question. Where? How did the Quran know this? Yeah, so, because I don't read. Uh, because no, I don't no, read. Very insignificant. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I did yeah, get from yeah, Uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All you have. I did get insignificant. If there's anything insignificant, it's you. The only thing is you. It's not like the level of intricate, specific prophecy that we have. Okay, show me. That makes it something that no man can do. Why I okay, show me, show me a prophecy that I can't deny. So Ezekiel 26 then. So Ezekiel 26. Let's open it. Um, but it's, it's chapters, but uh, it talks about the destruction of Tyre. It talks about Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, uh, coming in with chariots and cavalry. So okay, we okay, have. But how, how is that a prophecy that we can verify outside it? Sure. When, when yes. we Google the uh, yes. city of Tyre and its history, yes. we can verify that Alexander the Great and Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, went and besieged it and built forts around it and knocked down the, the walls and okay. now it's under the sea. So something okay. that was written hundreds of oh, years ago. Can, 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 can you read it? Can you verify it through our Google and through okay, Can you read it? Yeah, but it's chapters. It's three chapters. So I don't know what so, so, part you want can, me to can, read. Can, can you... Can you, can you well, oh, okay, for thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring upon Tyre from the north Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings. And it goes into the destruction. Yes. I, I don't think we can read um, chapters of it. But, well, but we I, I, would like to, I would like to, yeah, I would like to verify I want to read it in properly. Yeah? Because well, the, so, the thing is here, that I can, I can bring you many. Yeah, I can bring you many, many prophecies. Okay, the point I'm trying to say is this. I, I showed you in John 7, 5, 3 to Mark 11, that... 
mankind has put his own words in there. But we can verify that it came at a later date, Nick, and that's Nick, why Nick, we can put Nick, a note saying it's Nick, been added. Yeah, if we are Nick, honest, but we does it change Nick, the doctrine? Nick, being honest, if you were hiding it, why Nick, would we put that being in the book? Honest, it's like it's, if, if I'm a thief and I say to you, I'm a thief, by the way, does that take away from you being skeptical about me? No, if I'm a thief, no. I wouldn't put it on the footnotes. No, but, but no, that's, that's the point. If I'm a thief and I say I'm a thief, I'm a thief, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to thanks for letting me know. I'm going to keep my valuables to myself. The point is this just because you tell us doesn't help your case. All it does is show that your, your scriptures have been corrupted and you're just saying our scriptures are corrupted. So the point I'm saying is this if those scriptures have been changed, how could you rely it to be the word of God? Because we can verify when it was written so I can know that it's been added. Now we have to explain from my perspective, Ali, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing this from what it took for me to believe. What you'll have to do is tell me how on earth they knew that Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, would be born in Jerusalem, um, in Bethlehem, southern Bethlehem. How he would be born. Who said, who said this? So, so we have prophecies. Um, Where? So look, look, I can, I can, look, I can, I can give you. I can give you. Brother, brother, he's, he's, he's got itch. You know, yeah, yeah, you know. What I'm saying is this, bro. I gave you an example of drinking a water with a drop of poison. You rejected it. I've shown you one verse. One verse. If you show me one verse in the Quran, yeah, <coughs> that has been added in by man, I would say bye bye. You know why? Because how can I put my eternal life on the line for a scripture that has not been preserved and mankind has changed it? I have given you one. One is more than enough for your soul. So I'm saying, I can give you many by the way, and you know it yourself. How could you, if that has been changed, how do you know Jesus' resurrection, Jesus' blood sacrifice, Jesus being God, if they can change and add in verses about he who would have first no sin cast the first stone, if that has been added in, which would have backed your claim that Jesus came with a new law, by the way, because that were, that's what they used to use. Because they used to say, look, this shows that Jesus came with a new law and abolished the old law. No, he that, fulfilled the law. He didn't yes, abolish it. Not, he you say that. Some Christians don't. Sure, this do story of the adulterous woman was used for that. Did you know that? They used to use this and say, you know what? Look, Jesus, look, he, he with the first no, he him with the no, um, no sin, cross the first stone. Yeah? So what I'm saying is this. I can give you another one. You know the example where it says, I think it's in Mark or Matthew, that if you truly have the Holy Spirit, you can speak in tongues, drink deadly poison. Do you know this? No. Okay, I don't need you to do it. Because you know why? It's also been added in. The point so, I'm trying so to say is this. a greater degree of accuracy knowing what's been Nick, added Nick, and what's Nick, been Nick, not. Nick, look, right? look at what you're so. saying. Nick, look, look at what you're saying. I'm seeing there are verses added in by mankind. Mankind has come to the scripture and said, Ask him who is saying Look, look, look. Mankind has come and said, I am going to add a story here. And you're telling me that that shows me greater accuracy. You have to prove it. Because we know what's been added, and then we can see, then we can see if it changes its doctrine. So again, the reason I believe this is because it uh, tells us the states of uh, the universe. I understand. We only know that recently. Nick, what I'm trying to say is, prophecy is the basis. If, if your prophecy is giving you faith in this, I can give you a hundred prophecies in this. I don't think and it hurts. No. I don't think it hurts. If I would, would you would you leave this? Okay. If I would, would you leave this? Look, you're going to have to explain to me. No, no, if I do, explain to me how did the Bible know okay. when Jesus would be born? What that's, he would do, that his bones won't be that's, broken, that he's silent that's like a lamb. That's a circular argument within Isaiah the scripture. 53. It's not a circular argument. Circular argument. We can verify okay. the accounts through extra okay. biblical sources. Of years okay, ago okay. if I give you prophecies, undeniable prophecies, yeah? No, yeah. None, would you accept none. it? I think these are undeniable, and I don't believe there's any okay. other book that Okay, if I, if I show you one, one fo uh, false pal uh, prophecy, yeah. Would you accept it? No, no, no. But no. I don't know when it was written. They're not talking to okay. us. Okay. Okay. If I give you one, 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 full, uh, one prophecy that didn't come to be. No. He, he, yeah. yeah. I, I would love to hear uh, no something that is prophetic within yes. the Quran that proves no doubt, and and to be able to verify when it was written. So I haven't got no, that no, part no, with got the Quran yet because I've been amazed about the letter. Okay. The amount of okay. Of so, 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 so what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, yeah. Okay. The Quran 
has come to affirm when did it the come? previous scriptures. It yeah. When? Okay. The Quran, the Quran came 1400 years ago. But the yes. problem is it denies and the very thing everyone else affirms 600 okay, years later. Okay, one second. So 600 one years second. later, one second. It, it denies one second. The, the death of Christ. When did, it, which everyone else when did Jesus come? When did Jesus come? When did Jesus come? When did Jesus come? 2020 years ago. One second. When did Jesus come? 2020 years ago. When was the Old Testament revealed? When was the Old Testament? Yes. How long? So how many? So two thousand. So one second. So two thousand years later, Jesus came. So does that mean? Okay, one second. One second. The Quran came 1400 years later, it's false. Okay, the New Testament came 2000 years later. Later than no, no, no. Thank you. Okay, later than it doesn't work. So, so, it doesn't work. So, so, the Quran 1400 years later, throw it away. The New Testament came 2000 years later after Moses. Accept it. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. One came 2000 years later. 1400 years later. Anyway. The Old Testament and the New Testament. The reason that yes. so the Old Testament makes a load of prophecies that we can verify. Show one. It talks about the coming Messiah. It talks about uh, the time that he would be born in, in the beginning of Daniel. It talks about the fact that he would be born in, uh, in Bethlehem, in southern these, Bethlehem. These, these, are, look, these are circular arguments. Yeah? What are, we can verify them what, through what, extra what, biblical what, sources. What was we saying before that? What was we saying before that? Uh, the prophecy in the Quran. So, so you were going to tell me yes. an undeniable prophecy yes. from the Quran. So, okay, so, you, no, no, this is what you said. You said that this goes, what the Quran came with, goes against everything that this, this has been saying. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. You're a sincere man, yeah? Sure. Okay. When Adam came, mm -hmm. what, was the what was the thing that he preached? When what Adam the, came? Adam, the first prophet. What was the main message that he had? Uh, he went to go and uh, name the animals, didn't he? Was he, was he a prophet? Was he? No, he wasn't. He was Adam had a prophet. So, 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 yeah. Noah? God alone. Noah. God alone. God alone. Yeah. Okay, one second. Yeah. God, uh, God alone. Oh, no, Moses? No. God alone. Abraham? God alone. Lot? God alone. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Jesus? Yeah. Worship God alone. Yeah. Muhammad? No, 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 no. He's not from the God. He's a pagan. What's it? What's it? What's it? Muhammad? I haven't read the Quran. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Brothers, brothers. Muhammad said, "Salam, salam." Said what? Worship God alone. What's it? What's it? Let's get this. Let's put it into perspective now. What was the claim? What was the claim? Look at from Adam, from Adam, from Adam all the way to Prophet Muhammad is what? Yahovah. God alone. Check this out. Who? Which scripture? Which scripture? Is the only scripture that comes and says the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Does the Jews believe that? Guys, you're not helping me, brother. You're not helping me. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. We're going to shut it up with knowledge, yeah? Okay, bro. Which the problem scripture, is, brother, brother. in the Old brother. Testament, we have the Trinity in the Old Testament. Oh, right. Hallelujah! We have the Trinity. Hallelujah! I repeat again. I was the Prophet Muhammad's was the Prophet Muhammad's testimony to worship God alone? Is it contradicting what the other prophets came with? He's a moon god worshiper. Is it not, I repeat again. The Prophet Muhammad the, asking Yahweh. to asking the Arabs to worship God alone. Is it contradicting what the other prophets said, or is it in line? That very sentence. He did not know Hero Israel. Now, now, did you hear that, guys? Now you know the difference. What does Allah say in the Quran? Leisu sawa. What does that mean? The people of the Allah book, of the, God. the people of the book it are not the same. What? You know why? It doesn't say why. Look, look at the sincerity of this man why. and these guys. I asked him. I said, yeah. Prophet Muhammad's message was it the same? He goes, it was the same. Compared to these clowns. No, it wasn't. Was it the so, same? Was the Prophet Muhammad's claim the same? No. No. So he's, yes. he's a moon god worshiper. Yes. You, know yeah. you know that. So you can see, guys. You can see, guys. Is he, is he worshiping Yahweh? Sincerity. Is Muhammad worshiping Yahweh? You can see a sincere man to a clown. The Bible God is Jehovah. Yeah. You're a clown. Is Bible God. You're a clown. Muhammad was not the same Yahweh. The Bible is God. Now. The Bible God is Jehovah, yeah. not Allah. So, so yes, Nick. Why don't you turn? Why don't you turn? So, Nick, the point I'm saying is this, yeah? That's why he's not. Acts 2, chapter 20. Acts 2, verse 22. Jesus of Nazareth, a man chosen by God. God. 
with wonders, miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. Yes. Let's repeat again. Yes. Jesus of Nazareth, a man. Approved by are you a man? I am. Am I a man? Thank you. We are men. Yeah, okay. I don't know about him. Yeah. Okay. Jesus of Nazareth, a man chosen by God. Look, 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 look. Check this out. Nick, Nick, check this out. But there's a reference to Jesus saying, I, no one, I come down by myself. I, 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 yeah, I give yeah, my yeah, life yeah, up yeah, willingly. Yeah, yeah. Nobody fine. takes my life fine. from listen, me. But this is what I'm saying, Nick. Yeah? God. You're a sincere man, Nick. Okay? Look, Jesus of Nazareth, a man yeah. chosen by who? God, the but Father. He, but is he not God? Sure. Why isn't it a God chosen by God? Why is it a man chosen by God? Okay, so so ultimately we have Nick, to go Nick, to, Nick, Nick, we have to take no, scripture. No, context. no, Nick, 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 Nick. we have to take it in context. Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick. I love your passion. No, you're, you're, you're let me tell you something, yeah? You I believe you've got the passion, you've got the faith, you've got the love, you're in the wrong religion. The problem I is, Jesus, the question, Jesus says he he's the way, the truth, and the lawyer. An and he says God is love. Man. I accept, I accept, answer, bro. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, Jesus is the life. But no prophet can say listen, that. Listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. no, no. I gave my the the life of my own Of course they can. Listen to me. Will not somebody At the time of life. Moses, Moses was the truth, the way, and the life. Nobody could go to God besides Moses. At the time of Jesus, Jesus was the truth, the way, and the life. No, Nobody can go to God but through Jesus. At the time of Prophet Muhammad, it's the same thing, Nick. What I'm saying is the following. What did we agree? We agreed that the Prophet Muhammad's message was what? The same. Now, Nick, the Jews. Do the Jews believe God can be a man? So in Genesis 3:8, we've got an example of God walking in the garden. One second, one second, one second. So he's walking, God walking in the garden, and he's asking, "Where are you?" If you go to any Jew and any rabbi, none of them will say to you. But I don't believe they believe in their Messiah. Listen to me. Listen to me. I, I, I know that. We know that. Messianic Jews. I know they rejected Jesus. They That's why Jesus. me and you are against them. But hear me out. I speak to Jews here day in day out. I got friends here. Yeah. What I'm saying is the following. The Jews and the Muslims have something in common. Oh, yeah, you know what's don't. very strange? You guys hold their holy scripture in your book. In, yes, your, in your book. Is their but isn't it ironic that you are holding the book in your hand, but they agree with us more than you do? Oh, but now, not me, if you're from the blood, they, if you they have, think that Muhammad was Jew, a false prophet. No, you have the faith I'm talking about religiously Jew. Now, I'm talking about religiously Jew. Don't entertain, don't entertain. Let me tell you something. They also believe that Joseph, Jesus. Now, what I'm saying is the following, yeah? You don't know your history. You're not helping me. The truth hurts. The only thing that's hurting is yourself. Now, what I'm saying is this, yeah? The Jews, over their dead body, do they believe that God was a man? They reject it outright. Now, I'm asking you a question. The people that you hold on to their book are telling you that what you're on is falsehood. But there was people in the Old Testament that, that didn't have a relationship brother, with God. They're Jews. Brother, brother, they brother, 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 you're missing the point here. Look, the, even Jesus if we take... Look, look, let me tell you something. I don't even need Islam to disprove this. Christianity, Islam, Judaism. Let's throw them. Move, let me and you talk. Put, put scripture down. I, I, look, look, look. For a second. 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 Can an all-powerful being become weak? He if, he give up his, if, 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 if he chooses, if he chooses to enter his creation, like yeah. us in Genesis, he then he, he knew like where Adam it. was. Yeah, he can okay, do anything. He can give up his privileges. Can he not do that? Oh, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. One second. Can he do anything? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> God cannot do anything. God can do anything. No, 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 I'm second. talking about myself, not God. God can do anything. I cannot do anything. Okay, can God do anything? Yeah. Okay, can God cease to exist? If he wants to. Bro, bro, what? Bro, 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 this is bro, 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 guys, I need a, I need, I need a meme for Zishan's channel. Can God cease to exist? If he wants to. One more time. Can God cease to exist? If he wants to. He cannot lie. Look. Can God cease to exist? He cannot lie. He cannot stop existing. His eternal, no, 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 no. His eternal attributes are evident through his creation. Can you give him dawa? But look, look, not all of us say wrong things. So I get lots of things wrong. Okay, can God cease to exist? No, he can cannot cease, cease to exist Thank you. by his nature because Go school. he's eternal. <laughs> but we all get things wrong. We, I got lots of things wrong. Now. But look, can you imagine? Smiling. 
I said, okay, okay, okay. Maybe he doesn't understand. Ask a stupid question, okay, get okay. a stupid answer. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Have you heard of that term? Okay, okay. Let's you just, asked a okay, stupid okay. question, okay. I gave you a stupid okay, answer. Okay, okay, okay. So we no need question, to, just to, just to, just just to clarify. Just, just to you clarify. deserve that answer. Okay, cease to exist. Okay, cease to exist means he doesn't exist anymore. Did you know that? Bro, he's he's everlasting. He cannot. So then how can he cease to exist? But that's a stupid question you asked me. He cannot. Oh, he cannot. Everybody so, knows so, that. So, if he, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He cannot see something. I want one, I want just one example now. of the Old he Testament. He can do whatever he wants. Nick, 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 so your throne, oh God, is for... Yes, please. Yeah, can like someone, can someone get the brother water? Thank you. Thank you, brother. Can someone so get water? So your throne, oh God, is for No, 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 bye, bye, bye. The I'll scepter of uprightness Go get one, come on. is the scepter of your kingdom. You yeah. have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, yeah. your God, has anointed you with the oil. So I could go to many other... No, 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 how is that, uh, that short trinity? Look. Your God yes. is talking is about this Old two Testament? gods. Old Psalms. Is this Old Testament? Psalms. I promise you, I'll bring a Jew here who is very worst in his Bible, uh, in his Old Testament. There is not a single Jew that look, they know no, the scripture Jews message here, but there's messianic Jews. None of them. There's messianic Jews. Of them. There's none messianic of them. The angel of You're God. reading into the text. There were two entities of this God. Why, to go into in the Old Testament. No, no, no. Nick, Nick, the rabbis. I speak to this. I speak to rabbis no. on a daily no. basis. None of no. them ever read this into the text. Nick, sure, no, sure. Nick, hear me out. Sure. Can God, <laughs> who's all powerful, become weak? This what? is a fundamental become, question. How can he become weak? That's my point. So, he does not become so, weak. Thank you. So, so the king will say Akal, he goes Akal back. Okay, make your point then. The point is this: if he cannot become weak, yeah. how did he get crucified on the cross? Exactly. Because he humbled himself <laughs> and came down to earth uh, as a human. You said he can't be weak. Doesn't no, make sense. Of course he's not weak. Choose. Nobody should take took his my friend, life. My friend. He said, "I give my life." My, no, he didn't. Giving no, he didn't. He said, said "My lord, everything. my lord, why have you forsaken me?" He said that in the Bible. Sir, he said that in the Word. Sir, nobody takes my life. He said it on the cross. I give it to to them. My friend, my friend. Taking her two my different friend, things. My friend, Nobody to took one his person speaking. my friend, when he was on the cross, was he in a weak position or in a powerful position? What do you mean by that? He, Very simple. So he, if I am being punched in the face, am I in humanity. a weak position? In what respect? Okay. Is when he was on the cross, was he in a yeah. weak position or a uh, power position? Yeah, I mean, he was the reason why he's on the cross. No, 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 no. I know, but was he in a weak he position? He was paying for the because sins of the world. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No problem. Okay, okay, but when he's being crucified, okay, when he's being crucified, is he in a weak position or a power position? He took our punishment. Because we are weak. Okay, thank you. There you go. So, I'm asking a question. How can an all-powerful God yeah. become weak? Because he decided so, to do so it. From he loved his creation so much. I'll let, I'll let okay. anyone speak. Nick, Nick I'm, I'm asking you. To talk over here. Nick, I'm asking you. Okay. How so, this is going against God's very nature. Sure, but where do you get his attributes from? Very simple. It comes from scripture. Right? No, no, we know it comes from scripture, but I promise you, I speak to atheists, and even atheists accept that if this universe is vast, it requires an all-powerful being behind it. It's eternal attributes. It's a common knowledge. Now, I'm asking you, so how can that all-powerful being become weak? So the same scriptures that prove that this is the word of God by 300 messianic prophecies tells me Nick, Nick, that he gave up his divine Nick, privileges Nick, Nick, and made himself Nick, nothing. Nick, 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 Entered his creation Nick, for to us a child Nick, is born. I understand, Nick. Nick Mighty God Nick, Nick, you're, came into you're existence at the carnation. Nick, 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 let him talk. Let him you're not letting him talk. I know, but no, Nick, no, Nick, let him talk. Let him make his point. Allow him. If you ask me a question, yeah? And, and I'm asking, your question is a logical question. If I went to the Quran, you say to me, Ali, I'm asking you a logical question. You keep talking about a book that I don't believe in. It will just be fair. Because you say, Ali, I'm asking you a logical question. If you say to me, Ali, one plus one, is it two? I go, the Quran says it's four. You're like, Ali, I don't believe in your book. I'm asking you a logical question. You don't need to, don't need to argue, but you don't need to leave the book. Why are you there? All I'm saying is, for a moment, for a moment, can an all-powerful being, the one that's created us all, created the entire universe, 
become weak and die on a cross. No, he did not become weak. He tells us, he tells us that he gave up his divine privilege. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Before, before, and so the only reason, usually, I, I was a Unitarian. My, my dad was a Jehovah's Witness. He was a Unitarian? I was a Unitarian. Hallelujah! I was a Unitarian and I put my blood, I put my life on the Trinity. Why did you need that? This is why. Why? Tell me why. So, so it doesn't make sense to me. The Trinity doesn't make sense. Thank you. Okay, but how do you believe but, it? Because, Thank because you. the Bible, Thank you for your honesty. because the Bible, in no uncertain terms, teaches it. And unless I believe that he is it. who he claims to be, I will die in my sins. Yeah. Jesus Christ has proven who he is okay. by fulfilling the messianic prophecies and by telling us before doing something that no man can do, telling the beginning from the end. There is no other God, there is no other Savior, uh, tells us in Isaiah 40. And so when God comes, uh, when Jesus comes and claims to be the Son of God, that's blasphemy. When he says he's the first and the last, there's only one first and last. Thank you. In Revelation 1, 17, I died, but I am the first and the last and have the keys to, to heaven and hell. So then so how do you believe in the Trinity? Because the Nick, Bible, how did you go from Unitarian to Trinitarian house? <laughs> because the Bible, it absolutely gives me nowhere to go. No, 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 no. I believe in Let the Father, Son and Spirit, Nick. in whose name I must be baptized in, okay. I will not God. be receiving. There's okay. only one way Nick. to salvation, it's Nick. through the Son of the living God. Okay. And he's Nick. made himself known to me no in Nick. Let me do this here, yeah? okay? Because this is a discussion. Because I see sincerity in you, yes, and I, I see am, truthful in you. I am just looking for truth. If it was it. him, I would never entertain this. Nick, I'm going to give you my number. If you oh. are genuinely, sincerely looking sure. for the truth, yeah, Please I want it. you, yes, I want yes. you to also, if you believe I'm on falsehood, show me the way, mm -hmm. yeah. I want to have a dialogue with you because I believe genuinely you are looking for the truth. You're not here for your desires because if you was, you would have said things to please him. But you said words that are truth are against him. So you therefore, did not say anything therefore, that please me. therefore, you yeah. Spoke the truth from the yes, black black cease to exist. So Nick, if you if you are because what you're saying is this: if I can prove to you, brothers, brothers, we're finishing it. If I can prove to you the Quran is from God, would you follow it? If I do, one hundred percent for sure. Okay. One hundred percent for sure. Our okay? conversation so is going to carry. So if we can verify this was written hundreds of years before no problem. The, the events no it problem. describes, you put your trust no in problem. the Lord and Savior. No problem. Which made Are you going to do that? No problem. If you can prove to me yeah. this is from God, it's on. Altered. There's evidences. I will become a Christian in Speaker's Amen. Corner whenever you like. Amen. So nothing matters in this world. No Islam, not Jehovah's Witnesses, no religion. We're all going to die and face the person the truth. made us. Yes. We want the truth. So what we're going to do, Nick, we're going to carry a conversation for the next weeks, months, and we're going to see, inshallah, where we reach. We might even disagree. It was a nice discussion, guys. Make do up for Nick. I'm not carrying anymore. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.